Hi guys, so today um, we are going to show you how to uh, join a client to a domain and um, uh, verify our day GP settings a while back if it's really working. So uh, this is a Windows 7 client, so let's check that one, uh, properties, computer, properties, okay, it's a Windows 7 ultimate, okay, so what we're going to do is uh, try to check if our uh, Windows 7 is actually getting an IP address of, of on the DHCP server we have actually set up earlier. So I'm going to CMD, CMD, and I'm going to type IP config. Okay, this is one of the ways you you are going to check and verify if your uh, computer has an IP address. So I have it one seventy two the twenty the twenty the ten. Uh, one more way to have additional information is IP config all, and you can check it here. Is scroll up. So it says here the HTTP server 20.20.1. 20 20 that is our actually uh, our uh, server machine we set up earlier. So one more way to check this one is uh, right click here and go to uh, local area network and then properties and then here. So you can check it here. It's actually obtaining IP address automatically. Unlike for our server, we're setting it as a static. So for now, we're going to check it also on our server if uh, we can read this client from there on. So, so we're going to switch to our server. So here we go, this is our server and uh, we're going to check on our roles here. Uh, the HTTP server, we should be able to see that we have one client connected. So here, uh, address leases. There you go, it's 172.20.20.10. So the name uh, name is, we can check this one. We can check the name if it's correct. This is a uh, win, the, I did not change the name, but uh, let's try to check on our Windows client if this is really the uh, client that got the IP address that is Windows 7GG4 and, and so on and so forth. So let's switch now. So this is our Windows machine. Let's try to check the name if it's really this. I just want to show you. Actually, it is, but I just want to give you uh, verification. See, it is, and it is getting the IP address that we got from that server. So you can see it here, 20.20.10. So we did not set this one as a static. It's actually obtaining IP address automatically. Okay. So next up, after verifying that our server on the day GP server 2008 is working, we are going to join this one to the domain. So in joining this one to the domain, we just go to uh, computer and then right click the one, uh, go for change settings. On the change settings button, uh, we can go for change. This is where we change it. So we are going to, to join it to the domain. We can also change the name of this one to uh, uh, PC one so that we know how many pieces we have or it depends on how you name it so in the domain we're going to type ginard.com because that's the domain we want this one to be joined okay all right so we are going to uh, uh, join this one we need the administrator uh, administrator login administrator and then uh, our password for the domain so that it will join that one Okay, let's just wait for some time. Okay, welcome to Ginar.com domain. Okay. That's it. That's how to join it and it's over. Let's just wait for some time to for the server to add this one to its domain. Okay, you must restart your computer to apply the settings. There you go. Okay, close, restart now, and we can uh, actually I'll see that one that it's joined to the domain. So after restarting that one, we get to this login page and then uh, we can press that one, PC1 master. So uh, uh, we can switch user here. If we try to log in here, we are logging into the lo local machine. But if we switch user, other users, we can log into the genar.com. Now we do not have a user yet. So I'm going to go to the server and create a user for us to log into this uh, client PC. So I'm going to post. So we're going to uh, create a user 
here so that we can use that user to log into our client machine. So I'm going to go for roles here and then on the Active Directory Domain Services, I'm going to go to the Active Directory Ginar.com and then you can see it here, Users. On this Users page, we can create UU. We call it UU, these folders. We call it Organizational uh, Unit. Okay, so right click here. We can create UU, Organizational Unit. There you go. And then let's just say Lab1 Users. Okay, Users. Okay, so we created an UU here. And then we can create Users. Uh, this uh, lift pane now I mean right okay so right click new and then user and then I'm going to use it a uh, uh, sample and then user okay that's the name so you can put the user username you want so I'm going to s dot user it depends on how you want it to be for me I just got the first letter of this and then like the last name is s dot user I'm going to click next here user must change password at next logon so uh, for if, if I'm going to put a, a password here of course I know the password but if you are going to set up a password for everyone else then this should this should be able to change that one on their first logon so I'm just going to put uh, password uh, welcome and then welcome so by the time the user uses this one to log in, it will require the user to change the password, okay? So I'm going to press next and finish. There you go, our sample user is done. That's how easy it is. So I'm going to switch to my Windows client machine and try to log in this user, okay? So I'm going to, so this is my client Windows machine. I'm going to, oops, sorry, um, log in here. But I need to switch user because I'm not logging into my domain. I need to be logging into ginar.com. So switch user, other users. If you can see it here, we need to log into the domain ginar. This is our server. We are going to log into to that. So our username is s.user. And our password is welcome. Okay, and then let's go. And it says here the user password must be changed before logging on the first time. So I'm going to change my password here change it and then change it again now oh, sorry that's kind of wrong there you go so let's log in your password has been changed voila there you go we're logging into our first uh, Windows machine that is joined to our Windows Server 2008 so on the CSS exam in C2, uh, after, after this, these are the steps on how you're going to do it. It depends on what domain you're going to use. It depends on what uh, DHCP scope you're going to set. And uh, here you go. Our next uh, task would be uh, checking, I mean, doing other requirements on the CSS. So as of now, this is, uh, this is where we end in joining it to the domain. So we can go to my computer right click that one you should be able to see that one that uh, this pc one is joined to the domain ginard.com so there you go joining joining a domain making a user is all included up here so see you on my next video again bye bye